pick up where we left off last week. These are the three pieces of 5 16 inch that was braised. This piece was too hot. This piece was not hot enough. And the middle piece was just right. Able to get it up to a red hot. Ready to be braised. To clear up any confusion about the metal to be braised not being hot enough. Now this is a rather extreme example because this is a half inch piece of mild steel. So I'm not going to get it up to red hot this quickly. But you can see that by not being hot enough the brazing rod just drips these little drops on there. They do not adhere to the half inch mild steel block of steel. They're just setting right on top. Here I can just knock them right off. So the metal definitely needs to be up to red hot so that it will accept the bronze. In heating the 5 16 inch mild steel rod up here, going from a red hot into a yellow hot into a white hot, and at the white hot it becomes molten. Now if the rod gets too hot, I can pull the torch away and let it cool down. If I get it up to that temperature again, it's been my experience, I'm only able to do that a couple of times. After that, the metal will not accept the braze, or at least not very well. I'll have to stop, let it cool down, and then wire brush it, and in some cases, grind it down to base metal before I can braise. This close-up shows the buildup or the slag that I need to remove either through wire brushing or grinding before I can get a good braise. With a little experience it's unlikely that we're going to get these 5 16 cent pieces up to a yellow hot or a white hot. However, that all changes when we're trying to braise a thinner material to a heavier material. Then we do have to be conscious of this. Here I want to braise this 3 16 inch piece of mild steel onto the 5 16 inch piece of mild steel. And of course the 5 16 inch is heavier. So I want to get the 5 16 inch heated up. Now some of that heat is residual heat and will be just automatically transferring over to the 3 16 But I just want to make sure that I keep the major part of the heat off of the 3 16 until I have gotten the 5 16 inch heated up. So I want them both to be the red hot. But I don't want one to be hotter than the other. There. The three different situations are not getting the metal hot enough, getting it too hot, and then getting it just right so that the steel is red hot. Now here the metal is not hot enough, so we're just getting these tiny bronze droplets. Down here it's too hot, so we get all that smoke and we get the braze splatter, and in the middle we get the good braze, bringing it up to a red hot. The good news is that if the metal is not hot enough, or if the metal is too hot, we're in the ballpark. If it's not hot enough, we just need to spend a little bit more time and bring it up to red hot. If we get it too hot, we just need to pull the torch away and let it cool down. When you get a braze that you really like, try to figure out what you did that was different, and then keep repeating that. 